Hello and welcome to another vlog. We're sprinting for the nudes on Twitter. I am going to continue with either of those, but I think I'm gonna go for the, at least start with Sorcery of Thorns and then also Harry Potter. We'll see whichever we feel like. Oh yeah, I was really feeling unwell and it just stopped. So I'm just gonna go on Twitter and do another one because that didn't work out for me but i'm feeling much better now let's try this again i read four pages <laughs> in an hour a hey buddies yeah hi ah, yeah so it's wednesday my dudes <laughs> um i am gonna host a little reading sprint on twitter and we're gonna read a little bit more of whatever we're reading which for me is still sorcery of thorns i am <laughs> i'm like 180 pages in and i'm really struggling to care which is very sad i want to be like wanting to read and wanting to come back to the book and like you know power through because i would be like you know so enthralled in the whole world so i wouldn't want to put it down but it's not really happening yet, but I'm not gonna give up. I'm only like I'm here in the book, but hopefully It'll get better. I'm gonna swap to the physical at the moment and Do some more of the reading. So wish me luck and I'll let you know what I think Hi cutie Hi You're so cute So little update I have read in total 90 pages yesterday of Sorcery of Thorns. I'm still not convinced that I like this. I don't like actively dislike it, but it's a little bit effortful for me to actually go back to read it. We'll continue on and see how I feel about that later. But in the meantime, my July's geek year <laughs> arrived. Yeah, I don't know. It must have gotten lost somewhere. I'm not sure, but I have it now and because it's kind of late, I don't feel like I should film a separate video for it, so I'm just gonna unbox it here. I will leave the Geek Gears website down below. These I purchased myself. First item is this t-shirt. It's like a mini dress. <laughs> um, and obviously we have the Expecto Patronum. Patronus here with a lot of stags everywhere and then some owls and a forest and more stags. Yeah, pretty cool. It's a bit big for my liking. I don't, I usually go for something a little bit more subtle, <laughs> but um, it's not bad. Um, then there is this square box. That's really cool. I like that a lot. It's like a wooden resin material and it just has happy birthday, Harry, with like the cracks and everything. Oh, I like that. I think I want to keep it in a box as well because it's really pretty. Okay, then we have a Wolfsbane tea, green tea with peppermint. Oh, I love peppermint. I love peppermint tea. This is definitely gonna get used. Cute, cute little box. It's a Luna's like butterbeer cork. I had two of these already. Uh, one was just a thread, the other one was like exactly the same. I don't know if it was from this box actually, I'm not sure. Um, but I recently pretty much like unhold them just because I was going through my necklaces and tidying them up but I think I will keep it in case I want to like cosplay at some point um then we have oh do we have another proclamation thing I really want to frame those at some point I think we do number 98 uh those wishing to join the inquisitorial squad for extra credit nice saying uh may sign up in the high inquisitor's office I love these. I really am liking that they're um, putting these in. It's pretty cool. Oh my god, that's so heavy. Magical treats lolly. So it's like a... Always oh, just magical treats, but it's supposed to be like a honeydukes kind of lolly. That is massive. I really like it. I don't think I'll be eating that, but I will be keeping it just to... Again, maybe for some photos or something. I don't know. Maybe on like a desperate day I will eat it though. <laughs> then we have like the list of everything that's inside. Have we not had this? I feel like we've had this. Maybe it's just the same style. Oh yeah, it might be just be the same style, but not the same artist. But we got another one of these prints. They're not my favorite. They're not like as bad as some of the other ones that I don't personally like. But 
Uh, we have three ones and it says until the very end so with the Harry's, Hermione's and Ron's ones. I mean, I do like it. It's very playful though, so I don't know. I mean, I liked it. Nothing really wowed me that much. I think my favorite item must just be this. I like the tea is like very simple peppermint that we'll definitely use. And this is very cute. So another one of the favorite items. It is very, very cute. Not the biggest fan of the t-shirt though. I don't know. Just didn't wow me this time, but also not that one either. So let me know what you think also i am um releasing some of the bookmarks today but obviously by the time you're watching this they will probably be gone and <gasps> this is being so cute like he puts his like feather toy into his box yes it's the same box from last vlog <laughs> he just really loves that box i have like i don't have a heart to bin it because it's getting really ripped but like i just i don't have it in me like he's really enjoying it this the moment he like gets bored with it which he will Anyway, yeah, uh, for the bookmarks, but I am ordering more. Um, I'm sure I won't sell out all of them, so it's not the smartest decision, but I do want to make them available because I feel very bad when people miss out. And when I stock, I don't stock like massive numbers just because I need to be able to like pack them and then send them. And I am this like weird person that is like very uncomfortable with pre orders, at least where I am now, just because I want to already like the when I put stock up. I already have them packed and ready to go, they just need the labels because I want to get things out basically like bloody Amazon, like next day <laughs> shipping service because I just, I don't feel comfortable not knowing, maybe it's the anxiety, I don't feel comfortable not knowing that maybe something's gonna go wrong with the bookmark printing, which it did once, but obviously I would like get the replacement, but I just want to know everything's fine before I put them up. So that is why I limit and I know it's annoying because it sells out and stuff so it's pretty like annoying for people but I just want to make sure that what people are paying for I already have and will send basically in the next two days. What I'm saying is a massive thank you for all of you guys being so supportive and actually liking them because when I first made them like I like them but I really understand it's not like your traditional conventional pretty doodles like they're not anything special well I know that's hard to say but like you know what i mean they're not like mind-blowing they're just my like very kind of homey looking doodles <laughs> but your support and love for them just legitimately means a lot to me and it makes me want to make more of these kind of bookmark sets in the future which i might do and this might be like a one-off thing where they're like doing well but like it makes me so so happy like so happy every time i see a picture of someone using them like i get little shivers i don't know it just feels like a little bit of me with you is that creepy possibly <laughs> i suppose i'm just a creep but basically i'm hoping to restock the next month not month sorry the next week as well i will leave the link to the etsy shop down below that's that but i also just really wanted to say a massive thank you for those who even complimented them, like not necessarily bought them because it's obviously like it's a not essential item for your life for sure. It's not like, you know, something you need to have at all. Um, but for those who bought or just said a kind word towards them, like it really means so much to me. You guys being supportive and nice. Anyway, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. <laughs> oh, Friday. I am the worst at this. <laughs> But anyway, I am like almost done with chapter 24 of Sorcery of Thorns. I still don't really care about it. It's not bad, but it's just like, it's definitely not a perfect book for me personally for a readathon because it doesn't make me want to go back at it. It's an audiobook that will continue through like the 24 hour thing, so I think I'm gonna actually start something else today. We'll see. Sorry, I just ate, so I'm like finding food in my teeth. Yum. This is the first day actually that I don't have a headache or a migraine this week and I feel like a different person. I'm loving it. Uh, long story short though, I went to the emergency thing in the morning because yesterday was a viewer. And again, long story short, I'm not gonna talk about it, but I'm gonna go back on Beta Blocker. So I thought I'd mention it in case that comes up in the future. Hopefully not. But we're gonna give it a try because this ain't a way to live, guys. This ain't a way to live. On other news, I'll just keep doing that, it's fine. I actually saw some people do their nails for like their houses and stuff, so I got myself, treated myself to some nail polish, but this is the closest that I found without having to go to the city center and like actually look at proper shops. <laughs> but I think I might actually have a darker red, so that could be that, but if not, then this is a red, but 
I wish I had like a richer golden thing, but it might work. I just need to find, maybe I don't haven't decided what I'm going to do with it, but I might want to find like a tiny brush to like make some details with it as well. But I have red, I have gold, the other one. I have red, I have gold, and I have a top coat or a, a glossy taco. Um, if you are also a holosexual, if not, then you will be like, what the fuck is she talking about? So I might do some nails later on. And then there is a 24-hour readathon during that weekend. I haven't decided, I think, because I don't think I've filmed that much in this one. So I'm just going to continue all in this one vlog. And hopefully it's not going to be too long. And if it is, then I'm sorry. I also realized that I am dumb <laughs> yesterday. Cody was actually popping by. And I was like looking at my list. I had recursion put down for the book that's black under this jacket. And I think maybe when I checked. I checked when it was like dark. Because it ain't. It is very much navy blue. So I thought it was black, but it's not. So this actually solves my standalone issue because this is a standalone. I'm going to read this for standalone instead. And for the book that's black under the dust jacket, I'm going to go back and include um, the Wicked King in there. <laughs> I don't know how I did that, but I also now need to like ruin my page. It's fine. It's fine. So remember that day in that sad vlog, um, I splurged on something. I didn't splurge on what I was intending to splurge on, which I counted as a win, but I splurged on something because I was just feeling so shit. But anyway, that splurge arrived today. And that actually is a box that I have wanted to try for a very long time. I'm talking 2015. I think, I think that's it. Like I still had a blog, I didn't have a YouTube channel. This is very much a box that's, you know, for sure not a necessity, but I wanted to treat myself, so I suppose here we are, but um, it's fat bit fun. I've never tried it, but I always want it because they always look like such good value. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't even know what to expect anymore. Um, very excited to get it. What was that? I don't know. Very excited to get into it though. I'll leave them like down below. I don't have any codes or anything. I don't know. Let's see. This is the editor's box. I don't know what that means. I know they do them like it's a quarterly box, so they do them every quarter. Ooh, so big. Mm. Oh no, there's what's in the box thing here, but I don't wanna look at it. Mm. So many proper things. There's a lot of like American brands that I won't really be able to get here. So exciting. A Hallmark card of some sort. Well, shame we don't have those here. <laughs> oh, there's a cheesy card says you're the sparkling rosé of people both bubbly and fun not a big fan of that it's a bit too cheesy that one just says you mean so much and hi you're amazing one which is more to my liking really just thought you should know but let's get to the goodies first thing 111 skin harley london um hyaluronic acid aqua booster booster aqua <laughs> what and moisturizing booster quench my need for moisturizer can never be quenched. Also, this is like a moisturizer after or treatment after cleansing. Fancy little pipette. Excited to try that. I'm always up for a serum. Basically, it's what this is. Let us see what the value of that is. Holy, okay, this is valued for $160. Already way more than I paid for the box, so that's nice. Uh, next up we have Summer Mist Set, um, the must-have duo for fresh skin this summer. I think maybe this is an item that everyone got. There's a face mist, oh both are face mists. One is pomegranate, oh my god, and the other one is uh, turmeric. Oh, so this is basically for like dry skin or it's like hot weather and stuff like that. Oh, I just want to sniff it a bit. How is this mister? Good, nice. Mm. And then this one. Oh god. Oh, I don't, I don't, I'm not a biggest fan of this one. It smells like bread, which is like <laughs> normally a nice smell, but not something I want on my face. But the, like it legitimately smells like bread. But um, pomegranate one is nice and refreshing, but <laughs> yeah, the bread thing is like not really my jam. And that is $20. It does feel nice. Okay, next up we have a scrub. So this is a hibiscus plant-based body scrub with shea butter, uh, shea butter, shea butter and vitamin E. Uh, it's like an exfoliant scrub. 
Let's sniff it. Oh, is it sealed? Of course it is. Hmm. Ooh. Oh my god, that smells so good. Uh, and this is $35. Like, this is what I really wanted for the longest of times. It's so nice. So the post guy said that it was like not addressed properly. So I'm like nervous because I was also getting another one. No, it is addressed properly. Oh, it's a wrong postcode. Need to check that. Next up, there is this Cielac Cream de la Cream. The very best cream. Cool. <laughs> it's very like ladylike packaging this is 30 dollars let the scent of orange and grapefruit oil leave your skin decadently scented while canadian botanicals some sort of kapuaku butter and abyssinian oil richly moisturize the skin let us check Ooh. oh hell yeah i love like the orangey smells next up this scary thing uh, which is like a massager thing. It's a full body massager, but I'm not sure how would you use it <laughs> I'm sure I'll figure it out. Cool. It very much looks like a dog's toy, but uh, and this retails for $20. Next up is this uh, Marrakesh Argan and Hemp Oil Therapy. Ooh, some sort of spritzer, I think. Maybe it's like a... Oh no, leave treatment and detangler. Oh my god, I need one. So this is perfect. If it fits my hair, well, suits my hair. And something moisturize and detangle your uh, tresses with nutrient-rich argan oil. Smells like, of course. Oh, mm, it smells beautiful. Okay, I'm very happy with that because first of all, I've never really tried this, but also I need a lot of detangler after I wash my hair. So that is kind of perfect. That is $15.99. Skin loving treatment for eyes and lips of under eye puffiness, dark circles, fine lines, and wrinkles around the eyes and mouth. Oh, okay, and this is like $55, Jesus. Um, and it's just like a little tube, obviously. I won't know what I think about it until I try it, but I'm probably just gonna use it around my eyes. The lips thing sounds weird. <laughs> then the next thing is, I remember this was one of the things, some of these things you get to choose from because there's different options and there's like different things, but a lot of the stuff is like everyone gets. So I chose this tote bag, but only because of the things that in that section that I needed to choose from, I didn't really want anything else. I chose this tote bag, but I don't know if I will use it. So it's just a shame that like the big item in this time was not something I was really looking forward to beach bag but like when do i go to the beach <laughs> but it is really nice and that is valued for um but it's valued for 50 dollars so i don't know anyway i really enjoyed it though like def there's definitely value in there especially if things like if you were buying them like full price um my favorite thing to like the most exciting thing for me to try i think is gonna be this detangler thing like i Put a lot of care into my hair because i heat treat it a lot um i will use this for my under eyes as well and this smells really delicious so i'm gonna use it probably more as my like hand cream than anything else and i will definitely use the scrub the serum super excited the least exciting is probably the tote bag which is obviously a big item and like i don't know how i'll feel about this but <laughs> i will try it out and this is like just okay but like overall very happy and very actually excited to get another one because I'm gonna keep it for at least another one. I want to cheat myself. You know what? Go and cheat myself. My dudes, I woke up at like 6.30. At first, wow, this is a look. <laughs> um, I woke up like this. I did. Yeah, I woke up at like 6.30 and then I stayed on my phone because I was like, uh, like, it was an anxiety wake up. Um, and then I was like, this is way too early for a Saturday. So I stayed on my phone for like an hour or something, just doing like nothing and trying to get back to sleep. Then I did go on the back to sleep and guess what hour it is now. It's 10. <laughs> I only have under two hours until they read the thon stars like the magical all-nighter. Oh, why? <laughs> we had chickened out yesterday. So this is the first day that I've got to start taking the meds again. So, mm. yay. Okay, guys. I am all moisturized in the face. 58 to 12. So I have two minutes. My plan is to put a little bit of a makeup on for today so I feel more like, I don't know, proper. <laughs> I'm gonna continue listening to 
Oh my god, Sorcery of Thorns. I am currently... Ooh, one minute left. On, like, end of chapter 24. Okay, so I am approximately on page 272. Just to note here, so I know where I started, so I know how much I'll read the, during the whole, like, 24 hours thing. <gasps> Ooh, it's 12 o'clock, it's 12 o'clock, you guys! Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start doing that. I'm gonna start listening to this, put some makeup on, and then we will see from there where we go. Momo is destroying Zeus's box. It's been like, he kind of stole it now, it's his, kind of. <laughs> what did you just say about him? It's not a big bite. Good no, it's, it's good like for his teeth. I said, like, it's, it's not a hamster. He's a rat, dude. <laughs> they don't, like, just not stop growing. No, this rat doesn't eat him. o'clock now so we've been doing this for four hours <laughs> um we stopped for a little while on twitter to play a game but i am currently on page 368 so i'm here i don't have too much left so i'll definitely finish this book which is great i will say that in the last like 80 pages or something i am way more invested than i have been but still i am almost at the end and it's only now kind of getting to the point where I kind of care and it's not even at the point where I'm just like oh I just want to keep reading this but it's not it's not bad at the end like where I am now is quite intriguing there's there was this basically wizards battle pretty much and um I think that's where things started to improve for me um but I am getting quite like sleepy now sitting here and the forecast absolutely light if I knew that it's gonna be so nice outside I would have gone to the park <laughs> but I just kept saying that it's gonna rain but it's not raining so I'm just gonna go ahead and risk it I'm gonna go for a little walk Although now it does look like it might start raining, but I'll just take an umbrella and I'll listen to the audiobook for the next chapter, which is like 25 minutes or something. So I might see if I can listen to two or one and then come back, just like a short walk, just to get some air. But also this morning, this came in. It's the Paper Gang box for, oh, I don't know, August maybe? Maybe July? But I really like the design. It's like, a, like an urban colorful design so i thought i'm gonna open this as a little break as well <laughs> as a paper like stationary subscription i will leave the link down below if you want to check them out oh i see a pin i think so the washi team has like taxi a hot dog and <laughs> pretzel at pizza i think it's like new york themed you can possibly see this it's still not focusing is it there we are Oh, and I did not my nails. I forgot to show you. And then, then I, in very much Gryffindor manner, couldn't sit still for 10 minutes. So I ruined most of them, but it's fine. <laughs> then the pen. Oh, actually, I kind of like that. It's a pretzel with like some salt spots. That is really cute. I actually do really like it. Look and look. Mm -hmm. Check this one out. Check this pen. It's, it's kind of cute. Eh. Oh, cool. Uh, plastic free packing. They've started doing that just now. Um, so this basically a, a card. It says hit the town. Um, don't know what sort of occasion that would be useful for. I hope this actually peels off properly though. Oh, it does. That's really cute. I like that. Then we have the monthly card calendar thing that they stopped putting month on so you can use it for wherever. Then an art print, which I never really like display them or anything but if it's something that suits your aesthetic of your place i don't know then you might like that we have the big list pad so we have the my week site here it's basically the same theme it's a bit too playful for I me mean, this is why i usually skip the more playful themes i like the grumpy gorilla in the corner <laughs> Maybe Logan will want this. And oh, we have wrapping paper. I haven't had that in a while. I actually do find these useful. Uh, I used to not like them, but then I actually use them quite a bit. It's like a sheet that falls out and it's like a 
proper size as well. It's been okay. I think it's the theme that is not like my favorite, but I really like that they stopped using plastic for this. It's really cool. Um, my favorite thing is definitely the pretzel pin. Like I really, I, I'm very amused by it. What can I say? Logan, why? Why? Who does that? Okay, well, when they're off, they're fine. But who just sits with half of the socks off? Heretic. Some like duck battles going on, but we don't know why. I'm hoping they're gonna start it again so I can show you. But. I'm thinking maybe there's two families, right? And one was just fighting with another. They're coming for us, babe. Uh oh. Oh, we don't have bread. I'm sorry. We should have gotten bread. Oh. Oh my god, the tiny noises. Did you hear that? Cute, you're cute. Then six o'clock I think and I changed into pajamas because it is a leisure day but also I'm on chapter 35 now and there's not that much left but I swear to god this book is just taking an eternity <laughs> but I read a lot today though this is the chunk I read today that's not that bad <sighs> come on do you sat in the only place that has sun cute Mom was in a box and she's been punching him. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Mama. Oh my god, I have finally done it. Um, also, it's not actually that late. It's just really dark because, like, storm clouds. It's only half past seven. <laughs> but I have finally, finally finished this book. Oh, this one. So. The begin, the end, the very end, I actually really liked until the last page of the epilogue when it was pretty much undone. So did not like that. And there were definitely parts where it was very hard for me not to skim. It's quite descriptive. Basically, I'm glad it's over, but what can you do? I'm, I'm glad it's now over and I can move on to other things, uh, for sure. So, moving on to other things, what should I do? Well... I have just updated this, so now I have three things finished, woo! And this one was uh, out not outstanding, oh my god, acceptable for arithmancy. So now, like, obviously I don't have to read these in order as long as I have all of them read by the end of the month, because that's how it kind of works. Like, if by the end of the month I have, uh, let's say, an A and an O. The O won't count because I haven't passed the E. It's basically like a ladder system. But I can read them if I'm confident, you know. Um, so I'm obviously already reading Harry Potter for the E on that. There's also Axcop I could read now. I think I'm going to go for a graphic novel. So I'm either going to go for that or for Steel Prints. What do I want to read more? Ooh, I also kind of scary. <laughs> These are the only two graphic novels that I can have for the rest of the news. Although it was very useful in the last um, live stream I did on Instagram, Pris told me that I did, well, reminded me that I did get a dragon, like the tea dragon society thing in an owl crate. I just thought it's gonna be a sampler, but apparently it's like a full thing because it's very short, so I was very surprised. Um, so I'm gonna probably include that as well there somewhere. I think I'm gonna go for steel prints. I love thunder. I have just finished the steel prints, 
which is great because it feels very good to actually make some uh, progress so my thoughts i actually really did enjoy it so i'm gonna start from like the positives um the positives are some like the artwork i actually really like like some of these you know like the cover ones are so stunning well i'll find you my favorite i do really like that one some bits like a little bit how i imagined like some of the misborn things maybe i really like this one so the artwork was really beautiful oh so stunning and oh yeah this one Love it. and it's also really really cool seeing um is it maxim sorry Sim Marish, which is uh, the prince or in the Dark Shadow of Magic, the king. So it's like a backstory for him. And I thought that was really cool because it's like, it's cool seeing things that you're already like familiar with and just like going back to the story. Um, I'm really, like, I really liked his character. So it was kind of really interesting. Like it, you didn't, he didn't feel like there was a lot of work to go into it and like just go through the whole thing. I'm like, oh, look at him learning his lessons, blah blah blah. Well, it's a little bit of that, but not a lot, <laughs> which was good. And overall, it was just like a nice comic, so it was easy to read. Like I flew through it, kind of, and like I'm, I really did enjoy it. And I think that being said, I think for someone who has not read Darker Shade of Magic. I don't know if they would enjoy it as much um so that that basically to me means that on its own i don't think this stands out very well so basically the premise of this is that our prince uh, maxim is sent away from his, from london where is like the capital and the crown and whatever um because the king is not happy with how he's pursuing these entire people who would be able to like open the doors he does not want to open and he sends him out into like this faraway town to basically like learn his lessons and like grow up a little bit basically to the ranch with you <laughs> then there he meets this isla i think person who is like the captain of the guard i think there and a ship docks at that town that basically is led by this pirate called Arissa, who is like proclaims herself a queen and she actually is a bone wielder or bone mender i can't remember uh, she can control people's bones basically so there's very little ways to fight her and she's like a t like a tyrant um she does what she wants and she's there she's there because she also has a spot open for her crew and she and she basically makes it a competition for people to like fight to win the spot so it's basically like a miniature essen tag which is like a massive game in the trilogy not official and there are no rules basically so it's kind of it's kind of cool but here come the negatives <laughs> um the things that i thought were kind of sad uh, well not sad but i never felt like anyone was in danger there at all and also it was such a like like a it was like an extra episode of a show you're watching and it's like an extra like bonus episode which is what it this felt like to the darker shade of magic i did really enjoy seeing it in like a comic form i actually quite like that I just wish that the stakes were a bit higher again because it didn't feel like anything major really happened. That being said, the things that the prince was ready to sacrifice really did not meet the extent to which that those sacrifices would be required. Because I don't want to spoil it so I'm being a bit vague, but that really annoyed me because I felt like, wow, this is so unnecessary and the prince is like just being kind of dramatic. Like this is a very like subplot type of story and he's like ready to sacrifice everything for solving it. and. That to me just felt very unrealistic um, and a little bit irrational, which I didn't seem to think that he would be. But I do still really enjoy his character. So as a comic, I think this would very much be a 3.5. I think the whole story was just not enough to bring itself forward. But And obviously I would assume that majority of people, and this probably was targeted for people who have already read it. So it would be unfair for me to like rate it otherwise. So I think... Or should you rate something that is entirely on its own? It's hard. There were also some bits in action scenes that were quite like chaotic. I, maybe because of the drawing style. So at some points I was not necessarily 100% what is happening. But wasn't sure what was happening. But um, that being said, I still really did enjoy it. So that's that done. It doesn't count towards anything yet. Because this is for Defense Against the Dark Arts. But it's for the Outstanding. And I have not read the other one. 
yet, which is The Cruel Prince. So when I do read that, hopefully, <laughs> then this will count. But it doesn't really. But I will, I will still stick the sticker around it, so, you know. <laughs> Um, and I think now I'm gonna soon go on Instagram live to play something with you guys maybe like kiss Mary uh, Crucio with you because um, I do have all those slips as well and then I'm thinking of starting recursion which is like by far my main hyped up book for this readathon for me personally so I might go my make myself some tea and then go live and stuff okay I just went live and uh, well I got back from live. It was really really fun. I've been there for an hour and like I legitimately think we fried some brain cells because we had some we had some pairings that really <laughs> were disturbing. Um but yeah that was fun and I'm actually feeling really tired and it's only 10 o'clock so that's great but I'm gonna go and try and start recursion so hi Oh, come over. Come here. <laughs> Hello, it is 10 to 1 o'clock and I think I'm gonna stop here now today. I'm feeling quite tired. Uh, take my makeup off and go to bed. But I also remember that I have not logged my reading and the master spreadsheet thing. So I'm gonna submit the forms now for the two things that I did finish. But for recursion, I am on page 93, which is actually pretty good. Um, and I am enjoying it very much. Um, I just reached something that is a very high level bullshit. <laughs> but I think once I just like, you know, just let go and just go with it, I think I will really enjoy this. I'm really enjoying it so far as uh, basically like, a little bit like his other stuff is very much like Black Mirror-ish, but it's all about memory. But I don't, my and some I don't want to say again like the other one. I just don't want to say because it it's all like spoilery. I'm very tired. My my eyes are really itchy, and it's been a lot of hosting and reading, so that's good. But I have read like around 270 pages of like normal book, and then like 112 if you count the comic as well. So. Not too bad. Not as early as expected, but oh well. Hey boy. Hi, sweet. Da da. Da da. Come on, don't, don't make him go away. Only an hour left, we're still in bed, just living our best Sunday life. I'm really enjoying this book. Um, it's definitely <laughs> one of the better ones I've read this year, but that doesn't say much, does it? Because, mm, yeah. But I am on page 138 just now, so yes. I'm excited to see where this goes. Again, I don't want to speak too much about it because, like, spoilers, but interesting it's an interesting one i don't know about the I, I can't predict the reading just yet so i'm gonna continue on guys it has finished we have survived the 24 hour readathon thing within needs even though obviously i slept quite a bit <laughs> but it's fine like everyone does what they can so i am currently on page 169 or 68 so in this morning i've read like 78-ish pages which is good i will tell you later on what's that in total i th i'm gonna read on a little bit more because i'm really enjoying this book it's like it got me from like page 30 i was already way more invested than i has ever i have ever been in sorcery of thorns which is such a shame <laughs> but yeah it's just after 12 o'clock now because i was like hosting a tweet and stuff i feel like i definitely lose quite a few hours from like hosting and stuff of the actual reading but um i think i've done pretty well and i'm very happy with my current read it's very refreshing to actually Actually care about what I'm reading I'm intrigued enough I'm like just having a good time I'm not I don't know if I'm having having like a five five star good time yet but it all will all depend from how it goes I'm pretty much like halfway now still have a lot to go for and 
very excited. I'm having a revelation here of what my absolute type of love is for um, what's my favorite genre pretty much. And I think my favorite is like the type of dark matter and recursion and sleeping giants. And I was speaking with a friend um, and thinking of what sort of term is this because it's like a sci-fi but it's like a psychological sci-fi it's like urban sci-fi does that make sense like contemporary sci-fi i feel like like psychological with bits of thriller urban sci-fi meaning that most of it takes place on earth it's not like outside of like in space sci-fi which i do love as well but it's not my like favorite i think my favorite is a very clear type if you know anything similar to um dark matter recursion and i might read his previous books i don't know i was avoiding it because i wasn't sure i thought it's gonna be like worse than his newer works which i heard but um and like sleeping giant series something like that please let me know because i am looking for it now because i'm like i'm very angrily fed up today with ya having no consequences that last like it frustrates me somehow today specifically like a law I'm trying not to be that person that's like why a it's all like generalized it's all the same but like i am feeling that on the like spiritual level today very into the mood of not fantasy i feel like it's ruined fantasy for me for a little bit which i will recover from but i need to go into my happy place which apparently is a thrillery psych a psychological thriller urban sci-fi i'm glad i learned this today something new about myself <laughs> not new but just like put into words 20 past two now, I got out of bed, but today is shaping up to be like a no pants, <laughs> no pants Sunday and I'm gonna be okay with it. I wanna take it like fairly easy today. My plan currently is to just like update you, then finish this vlog and play Dragon Age for a bit because I have not played in forever. I and then I'm gonna actually try and edit this vlog and possibly upload it if it doesn't take too long and if it's not too late at that point. But hopefully that is the plan, unless I also get really sucked up in Dragon Age, in which case I will just play that and upload this on Monday. I'm very happy actually with this. I, The longer I sit afterwards with this, the thoughts on this book, the more I dislike it. I really... I wish I could say that I know why people enjoyed it, but I honestly can't. Like, I don't know why. I think that characters were underdeveloped. Everything was just, like, for the plot's purpose. Like, it was very one-dimensional. Like, for majority of the book, I did not understand what the villain's deal is or the motivation. There were no, like, my friend AJ said, there was no, like, personal stakes. So that's why the stakes technically were high in the book, but they didn't feel like that. Because I, I feel like, at, again, at, at any point, they could have just walked away and everything would for them would be the same. But I really got annoyed at epilogue and... I did, there were some good banter bits and there was like one character that I enjoyed as well but other than that it's very disappointing I just constantly wanted to put it down and really had to hype myself up to put, to take it back not take it back but like read again so it was a bit of a struggle fest and the more I think about it the more I just like don't get it i don't get the hype on this one i'm so sad because it was my pick as well but i am very interested in actually speaking with people on the read rate review group for those who liked it because i really want to see their point of view and i'm interested in their opinion so i obviously read that and then as i said i read the comic book i don't know where it is but so i'm currently on page 195 of this so here i'm very really enjoying it I, I cannot wait to continue with it but i'm gonna savor it a little bit because it's nice but as i said until then I, I read like what was it like 80 pages or something and during the actual 80 pages or something during the actual like readathon bit so in total i read 460 pages which for me is good i've done more but a lot of like only i've only read one comic book so usually that's what kind of bumps it up plus i slept properly <laughs> So, you know, I'm, it's good, it's good, I'm happy with it, and I'm finally out onto something 
reading something that I'm excited about, which I honestly forgot how it feels like, and it's awful. Uh, it's great now, but it's awful that I forgot. But anyway, let me know how you guys how you guys have done. I hope you're enjoying the readathon if you're participating. If not, I hope you enjoyed the vlog as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, I love you so much. Best of luck with the reading, and I will speak to you in the comments, and I'll also see you soon. Bye, guys.